Alvarez. And her opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. She wears the blue and orange. This skilled Aussie southpaw scaled 125.6 pounds. Her professional record, also a perfect one. Five fights, five victories. Proudly fighting out of Queensland, New South Wales, Australia. Here is the 2020 Olympian, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, and the reigning and undefeated Commonwealth featherweight champion, Sky Nicholson. Nicholson. You already see my instructions, obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. Good luck, ladies. Let's do it. Sparkle Lee given the final instructions for this 10 rounder, the vacant WBC silver featherweight title at 126 pounds. The main event here on Before the Bell from the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Along with Chris Algieri, I'm Justin Shackle. Tanya Alvarez trying to surge right in front of Nicholson. But Sky with that long reach for a 126 pound southpaw, keeping her at bay, tagging her with right hands. Yeah, Sky likes to use that jab and spin off right hook to control from the outside and not get bullied into the ropes. Here she cracks her with a left hand. Alvarez said she likes to stand in front and train at close range. That's no secret. Big question is, will Nicholson force her to slow her pace down? Yeah, Alvarez is just literally walking in the front door, not really throwing any kind of jab. Doesn't really have her hands up too well. Already markings on the face of Tanya Alvarez. Come on, guys, get out of here. Come on. Box it out of here. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. And Alvarez, 21 years of age. Scored her first early stoppage win in her last fight in November in Spain. She said, when I asked if she has outgrown the competition in Spain, she said I, she didn't think so, but what she's experienced here this week has her wanting more in the U.S. The media attention, the, the ceremonies, the way and they don't have as much of that in Spain. And maybe she's been bitten by the bug a little bit. Yeah, well, she's going to have to show more in the ring. I'm not seeing a whole lot. She's just walking forward and just eating shots. No, no defense and not even offense. Not, not throwing any fist, exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, media attention is one thing, but you got this is, this is boxing. You yep. got to be able to fight. Good right hand over the top there from from Sky. Tanya Alvarez walking right into first round damage against Sky Nicholson. Walk right in is the uh, is the key term because she didn't use a jab or throw many punches. Nicholson being coached by Eddie Lamb, Mike Basil, the cut man in her corner. How many outfit changes do you think Basil has to make tonight? I mean, he's, I think he's worked at least four corners tonight, so. Well, he's smart. He's got that hoodie underneath. He could just throw the, the team shirt over it, stays warm. He's like the host at an award show. <laughs> Keep changing outfits. <laughs> Start a round two between Nicholson and Alvarez. On, what will go, we see compared to that first round from Alvarez? More of the same or Looks, a more tactical approach? No, I, don't, I don't know if tactics are in her vocabulary. She's literally walking one foot in front of the other, not maintaining a stance. Stop, stop, stop. Now this continues. Sky Nicholson is going to have every opportunity to rack up her first stoppage, her first knockout. Honestly, I would be surprised and bothered if she didn't. And this, with an opponent like this, the longer the fight goes, the, it's hard to look good. Ooh, good shot over the top from the inside. 
And so maybe the handshake was done uh, intentionally from the press conference. Yeah, she's yeah she's <laughs> she's she's rough. I'll give her that. How do you control the pace of a fighter like that? I mean, someone like that, you have to just blow them out. You can't you can't sit there and, and, and play with someone like this. So they're just going to come right at you. You got to, like I said, the longer a fight like this goes, the uglier it gets, and you're not going to impress anyone. These are the kind of fights you don't want to be in as a prospect because it's hard to look good. Unless, unless you knock them out right away, it's going to be a long, ugly night. That's really the only solution to looking good for Sky Nicholson tonight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, to no fault of her own here. No, I mean, she, she has someone in front of him that yeah. She's doing her job. She's connecting with some impact punches. Yeah, I mean, she's being very precise. Her, her accuracy and, and punch landed percentage has got to be very high. We see a nice overhand shot as Nicholson gets her head offline, which is smart. And that was the little hit on the break there. I think that was the only punch that Alvarez has landed thus far. Tanya Alvarez threw that punch. She just stared at Sky Nicholson, didn't blink. <laughs> Nicholson is, has the right idea. She's getting her head offline because with someone like this who's just rushing in, head clashes are very common. So get your head offline, put your punches on the line, let your opponent run into them because that's all she's doing anyway. She's coming forward with no defense. Just put the punches there and get and get off. Got to be a bit of a matador. Strike and cut angles. Sky Nicholson trying to ace her second 10 round fight. Entering this contest at 5-0. Oh. This is round three of a 10-round scheduled regional belt between Nicholson and Alvarez. Yeah, this, this is the right idea for Nicholson. She's, she's whipping hooks on either side and then cutting to that angle. Again, being the matador, you got a bull running after you. Hit them one way, move that opposite way. But she has to try to not get tied up on the inside. That's where the heads are going to come together. That's where you're going to get tired pushing someone off you. Make it a boxing match. This girl can't box. Keeping her right there with the jab. Nicholson throws the left hand as well. And then again gets her head off the line. A big swing and a miss from Alvarez. Nowhere near her opponent. Nicholson cracks her with a right hook. Now a left hand. Getting hit with absolutely everything. Nicholson turns the chin with that right hand again. You know, when, when Alvarez does actually make contact, which isn't much, but even when she hits on the body, she does look like she has heavy hands. It sounds like, you know, thudding shots. Big body shot there from Alvarez. Yeah, smacking her with the left hand. Sky answers back. Let it go, let it go. That was a rare block punch by Alvarez. Now Nicholson letting the hands go. Clear path to the face of Tanya Alvarez. How tough is it though to, to not try and be weary of the clash of heads with this style? Uh, it's something that always plagued me in my career, being the taller guy for, for, for the most part. And people always trying to rush me to get inside my, my range. So you, you got to be careful with people like that. It's, it can change the way you fight, truly. Worrying about head clashes from a fighter who's unorthodox and what I quote as a billy goat. Fighters who leave it their head. Here we see Nicholson striking and cutting angles, being the matador in there. Pun intended, as Alvarez is from Spain. Got a, a, a Spanish bull coming at you. Might as well cut some angles and, and dance.
into this matchup, Tanya Alvarez was asked about her boxing influences, and she said it definitely includes Mike Tyson because of his style. And she was actually the one who alluded to the fact that she likes to be aggressive like a bull, Chris. Yeah, well, there it is. I mean, she's, she's living up to what she said. Certainly the bull part, not much of the Tyson part here in the fourth round. It's tag and go for Sky Nicholson, and she is acing that part of the test. Probably not a fight that she expected to be in. And a, a frustrating fight, and an, look, an annoying fight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's tough when you're when you have an opponent in front of you like this who's so awkward and um, and just isn't isn't a boxer, isn't boxing. Like we said earlier, if you don't blast them out of there, it's hard to look good. Nice whack with the left hand from Sky Nicholson. Yeah, Nickel, see, this is this is what I was alluding to earlier. You, you don't want to get tied up. You're going to waste so much energy in the inside wrestling around with someone, this awkward, strong person. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Hey, hey, listen, don't do that. Oh, that's a I mean, I'd like to see the jab from Nicholson. It's, it's wide open. Use the stick instead of that leading right to that hook because that's leading to this, where they're getting tied up. If she can stop her with straight punches, she won't allow her close enough. And she's wide open for everything. And we saw it moments ago. You leave that left hand behind that stick jab. Tanya Alvarez is not going to see it coming at all. No, I mean, she's, she's not defending against anything, especially straight shots, but there it is. But for the most part, Nicholson has just been throwing hooks. Offering words of advice. Tony Moreno in the corner for Tanya Alvarez, bringing her 7-0 record into the U.S. Nicholson looking to improve to 3-0 in U.S. fights as we begin round five, scheduled for 10. Oh, good check hook there and slide off from Nicholson. See, this is a nice adjustment. Fighting on the outside, staying long, keeping the distance, not getting tied up. Not bringing that right hand back from the jab immediately, just hooking it forward and cracking Alvarez in the face. You got half-hearted punching attempts from Tanya Alvarez as well. Now she's getting tagged up. A couple of two-punch combos from Nicholson. Tanya Alvarez just running in. Nice left hook there to the body attempted by Alvarez. Oh, good right hook there. Shook Alvarez up. Another left hand making an impact for Sky Nicholson. Ooh. Oh, and another. I want the overhand variety from Nicholson. Nicholson 
had a very busy first year as a professional, fought four times in a 91-day span, and that included a win over an undefeated opponent in her pro debut. Also a win over a former world champion in Gabrielle Bouvier as the round comes to a close. It included a match on the Taylor Serrano undercard. And here she is back at MSG in her sixth pro fight, having her way against an awkward Tanya Alvarez. Yeah, Alvarez is just coming on, putting a lot of pressure. She's actually throwing some punches in that round on the inside. But for the most part, it's been Nicholson just picking her apart on the outside, trying not to get tied up and waste energy. But Alvarez is, is awkward and, and, and seems to be physically strong, so she's coming in and forcing the action. It's like she doesn't know any better. Yeah, I mean, she's just she's fighting. She's fighting like a bull. She's obviously tough. She's taking some big shots. Keeps coming. Segment of the crowd in support for the Australian Sky Nicholson in the blue and orange. Tanya Alvarez running toward her opponent in the pink and white kit here in round number six. You know, I like that. Nicholson kind of throwing it back at her, getting rough. Those right hands don't hurt, uh, you know, in terms of. Throwing them doesn't hurt. The idea doesn't hurt. They definitely hurt when they make impact against Alvarez. Nicholson doing a good job of keeping her head offline, keeping it out of danger. See that? See where she's placing her head? That's 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 good. That's that's pro stuff there. You know, you're not fighting with the headgear. Clashes of heads are a big problem. She's getting her head offline, staying outside the shoulder. But again, I would like to see more straight punches from Nicholson right down the middle. Keep that distance. Alvarez just fighting with attrition, just coming forward, just banging with whatever she can. There's blood on the lip of Alvarez. Another hard right hand from Sky Nicholson. And running forward. Two punch combo for Nicholson. No problem. And again, keeping her head off the line. Sky Nicholson for nearly every second of this fight, doing what she has and is supposed to be doing against a fighter of this style. Chairman Eddie Hearn looking on. Here we see an overhand shot there from Alvarez. Clipped the side of the head of Nicholson, but Nicholson doing what she's been doing. Striking and spinning off, trying to stay in the center of the ring, stay off the off the ropes the best she can. Alvarez just keeps pushing forward, keeps coming down the middle. To round eight, scheduled for 10. Vacant WBC silver featherweight title on the line between Nicholson and Alvarez. Sky Nicholson aiming to win her second pro belt on the way to securing a world title shot later this year. She hopes a title eliminator is next on the schedule if she comes away clean here tonight with the victory. There's the jab setting up the left hand as Alvarez walks right into both punches. Another 
right hand that rocks Alvarez to the side. Alvarez trying to pump in some right hands to the body of Nicholson. Yeah, I know Nicholson is not known as a puncher, but she's been landing some really clean shots on Alvarez. And she's she's taking them well. Alvarez is tough. The overall pattern of this fight for Nicholson, throw the punches that you see in terms of where Alvarez is in front, but get your head out of the way to avoid those clashes ahead. Yeah, she wouldn't have to do that as much if she kept the jab between her and Alvarez. Just keep her on the end of the punches, take small steps back, step around when you need to. I'd also like to see a little like, body attack from Nicholson. I mean, this is the pros. If she's going to progress in these 10-round fights, you know, you've got an opponent in front of you who's taking these shots to the head well. You know, why not dig down to the body when you have the opportunity? Wear them down. You know, Alvarez is starting to look tired. Mouth is open. They could, they could picture this, you know, someone just coming in the front door like this. It, it's a very awkward, strange style. Um, look, look, she literally just runs from her corner into the ring, and then they tie up in the center and bang shots. But it's been rinse and repeat for Sky Nicholson throughout this fight. Get your shots in. Get your head out of the way. She has been in full control here in her return to Madison Square Garden. Now, Sky Nicholson being her own harshest critic, she's probably going to be frustrated that she wasn't able to showcase more of her skill here. Obviously, though, as a pro, the smart thing to do, take what they give you. Take, take the win. Don't get injured. You got someone who's awkward in front of you, who's obviously tough and has taken the punches, but, oh, Tanya's having the best moment of, of the fight so far. Yeah, a combination from Tanya Alvarez. Nicholson pops her head back with the jab and now tags her with a series of combos. I think when Team Nicholson goes back and looks at the tape of this fight, they, they could have made it easier. Granted, they're winning every every moment of the fight, every round of the fight, but it could have been a lot less wrestling inside fighting. And this is the round, round nine where Alvarez is connecting with the most amount of her punches. Yeah, I said last night I thought she was getting tired. Apparently not. This has been the highest output of, of the fight so far for her. Some blood coming down from the nose of Tanya Alvarez in the first female Spanish fighter to fight here at Madison Square Garden. All ahead of the main card, which will feature an undisputed doubleheader. Solid punch again, splitting the guard from Sky Nicholson. We're through nine. It's been all Sky. Yeah, if you were going to argue for giving Alvarez any round, it would have been that last one. Just on being aggressive for the first time, but if, it, it might just be relative compared to the other rounds, what he might give it to her, but I don't know if she actually won the round. It's like, how much does this round stand out because of what she showed in the other rounds? Right, right. That's... That's exactly what I mean. Nicholson catching most of these shots on the gloves, planning some big shots of her own. Go. 
She has aced the test, though, so far, of keeping her head offline and avoiding those clashes. Yeah, she's done a great job of, of avoiding damage, which is, which is good. I mean, live the fight on another day. But in terms of aesthetics, you're not you're not turning any heads with, with this fight tonight, with this opponent in front of you. Some Alvarez is hard to look good against. Alvarez charging out of the gate as we begin the tenth and final round here. The final bout on before the bell, ahead of Serrano Cruz on to zone, coming up in a short while. Alvarez almost landed a good hard right hook on the referee in that last exchange. Yeah, if there was any success from Alvarez, then it's been the left hook to the body. That's, that's the only thing that has landed with any kind of regularity. Oof. Big swing there. See, Alvarez looks like she's physically strong. She's yeah. obviously in good shape. She's very tough. Seconds to go in round number 10. As Sky Nicholson is looking to capture her second pro belt in as many fights, you wonder what else she'd take away from a night like this. You now, you're getting 10 rounds in, you're getting it under your belt, you get to fight in front of a big crowd, fight week, another training camp. She got to train outside of you know her, her comfort zone going into freezing cold Ohio with, <laughs> with Alicia. So, you know, you, there's, a, there's a lot to take. In from a fight, other than the fight itself, you know, there's, there's training camps and experiences, so. You can only operate based on the product that's put in front of you. Awkward, frustrating at times, but Sky Nicholson doing everything that she could do in her control to come away in stride, and it looks like she will be victorious. We approach the end of this 10 rounder. Tony Alvarez in the corner, Nicholson ready to go. We thought that was the final round. Yeah, I thought I thought it was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 10th and final round. Well, here is the 10th and final round. There was some confusion all around our area about whether or not the fight went, <laughs> but this is uh, the 10th round. Look, either way, Scott Nicholson has won every round. So here we go with the 10th and final round. Oh, big overhand shot from Alvarez. Alvarez trying to make a mark before the conclusion of this fight. There's that right hook over the top that Sky's been trying to land and landing a lot of them all night long. Left hand as well catches Tanya right on the jaw. Sky Nicholson looking to put a bow on this performance with more impactful shots. Oof. Another overhand left. Yeah, those looping shots worry me because the, the, the chances of head clashes. Again, no, no body work from, from Nicholson. Hasn't been an adjustment there from the corner, nobody. 
How do you approach that with the charging fighter like Alvarez? Yeah, when, when you're on the inside here, there, there's opportunities to punch on the inside, just rip upper shot, uppercuts to the body from there, right up the middle. I think would be really beneficial for someone like Alvarez, who's so forward, so over their front foot, and is obviously take the punch and takes the punch as well upstairs. That will do it. Sky Nicholson getting through the 10 rounds. She took what was given to her. And Nicholson with another impressive performance against the awkward come forward Tanya Alvarez. And through 10 rounds, it looks like another pro belt will head into the corner of Sky Nicholson. Everyone had an idea early on of what this fight could look like. It only took about a minute or so from the opening round. Yeah, each round was pretty much a carbon copy of the preceding round. Alvarez charging in with a complete lack of a jab, throwing, throwing hooks and overhand shots on the inside. And Nicholson keeping the distance, peppering, landing right hooks, riding left hands. So Nicholson, after winning the Commonwealth title back in the fall, over Christina Jacobs. Looks like she is on her way to winning the vacant WBC Silver Featherweight title here at the Garden. Could a title eliminator be next for the 27-year-old Southpaw out of Australia? We will soon find out. And perhaps a world title opportunity lies ahead here in 2023. Let's go inside the ring with David Diamante for the final scorecard total. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' score totals. They read as follows. Martha Tremblay, 100 to 90. John McKay, 98 to 92. And Alan May scores this bout 97 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. She's still undefeated. And the new WBC Silver Featherweight Champion, Sky Nicholson. A unanimous decision win for Sky Nicholson, but I'm hard pressed to find any rounds for Tanya Alvarez, but clearly they were given by the judges. Yeah, I think it was probably those later rounds where Sky was slowing down a little bit. And Alvarez did have some success in rounds nine, eight, nine, ten. I, maybe those are the rounds I could see it, but other than that, it was it was all Sky. Those rounds, though, was Alvarez really in control? You know, uh, I don't think she. I don't think she was in control of her her own body, let alone <laughs> the, the round itself. But well, Nicholson improves to six and zero oh here as a pro. Comes away with the win, has a strap, gets another ten rounds of professional boxing under her belt. Back to back ten round fights for Sky Nicholson. Had to be quickly in and out tonight, tagging her opponent, moving her head to avoid a clash. Just an awkward style opponent for Sky Nicholson, yet she comes away doing as good of a job as she possibly could. Perhaps a little more work to the body, but overall in full command.